So today we are back in BMG Drive and we are going to be doing the Chevrolet Caprice versus the Oldsmobile. And we're going to be checking out some new configurations, including a presidential limo. And stay tuned until the end because we're going to be doing a test on the Car Jump Arena. Which cars are going to hold up better, the old and rusted or the newer cars? So stay tuned until the end and let's jump in. So folks, we're back with the Chevy Caprice and Oldsmobile and uh, we're going to be playing with some more configurations because you guys really like this pack and you wanted me to check out more of them. So look, we have the presidential limo here and it looks kind of old and amazing. Uh, we're going to do police escape to begin this episode. We must escape all the way over to the tunnel here on the Gold Coast, which this map has actually seen an update. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see what's changed here. But you know what? We must escape with the president in order to get him to... Uh, uh, dinner on time. It's not the bad's gonna happen. He just gotta go to dinner. I don't know why the cops would be chasing him, but, you know, that's a thing, too. Also, hold on. Can we look at the inside of this real quick? Oh, they got, like, the, the one-way glass here. Hold on. Uh, what is the president dealing with back here? Oh, dude, this is nice. Is that, like, a little bar section there? I uh, got a FM, AM radio. Oh, yeah, this is definitely uh, moving in style. We, oh, yeah, we gotta launch this thing off the car jump arena later. <laughs> I hope the FBI doesn't see this. Oh my goodness, it doesn't turn off! <laughs> the cops are mad at me now that I'm driving the president off into the lake. I could not see why. Okay, uh, that was a failed first attempt. Who would have thought that a big limo doesn't turn very well? Uh, definitely not me. All right, so we're taking off again. Uh, is this a police escort or are they, uh, or are they after me? I'm, I'm not really sure. I heard sirens. We uh, we're doing it. We're doing the thing right now. This is ridiculous looking. I hear sirens in the background. I don't know where they're at, though. Oh, there's a copper. You not mad at me, Haunt? There we go. Now you should be mad at me. Wait, do they register this as a police car? Maybe they're not going to chase me since I'm the president. Wait, so is this the one car I can go break all the rules in? I hear police sirens. Oh! <laughs> Okay, there went my little flags. Uh, we're smoking now. I think I might have destroyed the radiator. Uh, no, this is fine. Wait, what are you guys after? Are you after me? I can't tell. Oh, they're after me. Okay. Uh, they're definitely chasing me. Uh, we might blow up before we get there. You know, I thought this thing was supposed to be like armored or something, right? Like this should be in theory an ultra strong limo, but you know what? I think we're going to make it. Uh, the tunnel's not that far. Why would you pull in front of the president like that? Oh, <laughs> okay. That was kind of clean right there. Uh, I like that. Oh, sorry. Pet maneuver. <laughs> I mean, it does have a push bar on it, does it not? Come on. <clears throat> we need to use the spike strip mod with this. Like, say we can have uh, spikes eject out the back. Was that my tire? I don't nice. think it was. This is bad. This thing is running a little hot. I don't think we're going to make it to the... Okay, thanks for the boost. Yeah, wait, where's the tunnel? Did I take the wrong turn? Oh, no. The president's limo has uh, stalled out. Okay. You know what you must do, Komodo? Press the self-destruct button. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> uh, I did that. The president got out uh, safely, but there is top secret documents in there. And we mustn't let the enemy, a.k.a. the police, uh, see those documents. So we blew up the, uh, the limo. So that didn't quite work like I thought it was going to work. So we're going to go switch over to the Chevy Caprice here and check out one of the ridiculous versions of this. They have a lot of really cool cop cars here, but they have something called the wagon drag. Uh, this thing looks like it is souped up, ready to take the kids on vacation. That is actually a awesome looking uh, dragster, hold on. Oh, oh. <laughs> the poor dummy is so dead in here. Um, it's got a roll cage in it, so I mean, you might survive. Oh my goodness, okay, yep. This is probably something you don't want to run from the police in. It's not eating gas though. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Okay, watch out everybody. I need myself a straightaway here, all right. Oh yes, there we go. Okay, there are cops everywhere in here. They're blocking off all the intersections. Uh, go, no, nope. I was, oh, I was gonna go right, jeez. Okay, you know what? No more Mr. Nice Guy, I'm going for it. Up on the curb, watch out for the children. Uh, though it's sideways, uh, we're smoking a little bit. Uh, no, nope, no. Nope. Oh, wow. Oh, no! You know, maybe, oh, that's an achievement for wrecking yourself? There's a good chance, oh! <laughs> What was that? There's a good chance I'm picking stuff that just isn't going to work for police chases. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we're going to do this one more time with the dragster. I want to give it a fair shake here. Oh, this is nice looking. Oh, no, watch out. Okay, nope, through the gap. Okay. It's bad that I have to use a lot of handbrake to make this thing turn. I mean, obviously the skinny front tires. It's meant to go in a straight line, folks. Uh, we're doing the impossible with it right now. And, oh, yes. 
Speed, speed. Okay, watch out. Up. Oh, okay. Oh, up. Oh, hey, that cop turned into me. Okay, are we on the road with the tunnel? I feel like we are. Uh, I'm also unlocking achievements. I, I forgot this map has achievements for, for it for some reason. I think it's amazing. Uh, I think I broke something on the turning. Wait, is that the... Oh, there's the tunnel! No, 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 no. We can totally make it. We can totally make it. I don't know if it's going to turn anymore. Go, 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 go. It doesn't turn to the right. Okay, does it turn to the left? Uh, okay, does this count if I go back? Wait, hold on, we can do this. There we go. You've got to be kidding me. I can't get in. Okay, the cops are coming. Uh, no, 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 come on. Turn it. Okay, aim it this way. Oh, this is stupid. Why is well, when it go forward? I mean, I, I guess it's really damaged. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, no. H hey, hit my steering real quick. Hold on, I might be able to back into it now. No, I just got blocked by a pedestrian. Wait, what? That was a civilian car. Oh, we're, oh, we're on fire. Wait, something's on fire. Is that me or them? Do we want to count that as a success? I mean, we're right there. I totally could have got out. I mean, we didn't die during it. That's something. This thing is sturdy. All right, well, let's go back to the Oldsmobile. So there's a lot more, like, limos that I would love to check out. You have the yellow cab version. There's a highway patrol. Like, why? Oh, there's a limo dragster. Yeah, that's kind of cool, too. So there's a resto mod. I don't really know what this is. Um, I want to spawn it in. It kind of looks cool. Is it powerful? Oh, she got a motor under. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Is this the first one that's actually got grip? Uh, this one? Okay. You know, it's an old vehicle. It's not supposed to have great grip, but this one is getting it. Uh, the turning is really nice on it. I think we can escape with this thing. Okay, this might officially be one of my favorite ones as far as handling. It doesn't handle bad, unlike most of the other ones. I mean, like I said, it's an old car. It's not supposed to handle good. It's supposed to be fun, slidey, and all that good stuff. By the way, this resto mod, I, I haven't been paying attention this one's got traction control. I, I'm pretty sure that wasn't a thing back then. Is that just a part of this version, Han? Uh, can we? Okay, we've turned it off. I'm probably gonna regret doing that, but you know what? We're here for the funds. All right, so oh, we could probably throw it sideways now, can't we? Uh, on, drift it around. You know the back end. Oh no 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 no! Okay, we just crushed a bull eye. Uh, the back end doesn't come around on this one as much. I, I don't know what it is about it. It's actually got a surprising amount of grip, uh, almost to the point where it understeers. All right, so if we make it here, I, I would say this has been a success on the Gold Coast um, or Gold Island. I think it's Gold Coast. And, oh no, I've broken something. No, I want success here. Uh, we're about to go over the car jump arena. We're gonna have to see if some of these rust buckets can actually survive jumps. Uh, come on, oh, you know what? Uh, sometimes you just gotta move the cops. Did we pass by the tunnel entrance yet? Uh, oh, this must be it. Okay, come on, whip it around. There we go. You can't say I didn't legit make it that time. That is a successful escape, and you know what? Let's go to the car jump arena. I've got some cars to destroy. All right, so I want to test a good vehicle, like a nice one with a roll cage. Uh, you can see the driver in there. So I want to see if the driver is going to survive. Also, Mr. Editor, would you trust me driving down this uh, gigantic ramp? Would you ride with me? No! No! I want to let the editor score a couple of these. So it's going to be one out of 10. Here we go. I'll see you guys at home. Comment below. What are you going to score this uh, jump here? And you know what? I think I'm going to land it. Like, you got to give me a 10 if we land and survive, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're totally going to survive. Wow, that is really smooth. Um, uh, yeah, we uh, we survived. Um, editor, what, what do you give me as a score? Oh, my goodness. Is this foot touching his head? I didn't think the cage would collapse like that. I think the cage killed him. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with. That's with the full roll cage. Let's see if the rust bucket is any better. Maybe you could survive in it. Do you guys think this one's going to do better than the other one? I'm kind of hoping it does. Uh, that first one, I, if I was to be honest, I'd probably rate it a 1 of 10. We definitely didn't survive it. But look at this. The old jalopy. Come on, baby. I hope it holds together. Uh, here we go. Release. Uh-oh. Okay, I know the doors are going to fall off. Oh, okay. Wait. Dude, we survived. Okay, I mean, it's probably because of the lack of speed. Oh, we're not through yet. Uh-oh. Uh what the heck? I'm actually going to go with the 9 of 10. Like, 
I think we legit survived that. I don't see any damage to the stick. The, the roof caved in a little bit, but that's what he's wearing the helmet for. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to do the battle of the limos here. So we're going to get the, uh, the rusty limo, and then we're going to use the presidential limo and see which one actually makes it. I don't think we've pulled this one out yet. Uh, it's got the uh, for sale sign in it, which is uh, kind of hilarious. Uh, wait, what does the interior look like? Is it, like, just old and dilapidated? Yes, it is. Okay, so I think this one's gonna be a little bit more fair test because they're probably gonna launch at a fairly similar miles per hour off the, the ramp because I don't think the uh, presidential limo has that big of a motor in it. I mean, look at that. We're getting down pretty good here. All right, so pay attention to our launch speed. Looks like it's gonna be right around one... Let's say 138. Okay. Uh, what's the landing like? Oh! Oh, dude, it folded a bit, but... I believe the driver is gonna make it. Uh, trying to slow it down. Oh my goodness, okay, the driver might fall out. <gasps> okay, so the passengers definitely died, but I think the driver might have actually made it. It depends on where that wall ended up. Did that wall go through the drive? That is lucky there. The wall went through the, uh, <laughs> it went through the limo. <laughs> And somehow missed the driver. Okay, here we go. We got the president's limo. Let's remember our launch point was right around 138, so I can lift a little bit to try to keep them even. Okay, this thing's definitely booking it a little bit more. Hold on, let's try to keep the speed even. Okay, that's roughly... Okay, we we're about four miles an hour faster. Hold on, what's the landing like? Oh, okay. Very similar. Uh, it kept the doors on it. I'm using the brakes. The brakes don't work right now. Oh, no! Okay, we were only going four miles an hour faster. Let's go get a stick check, please. Um, yep, we died. Okay, this is not the result I was thinking was gonna happen. I mean, who at home thought that the rusty cars would be winning right now? Like, we, we released at a very similar miles per hour. You know what, out of good faith, I'm gonna run that test one more time. So yeah, if I can hit it more towards like 140 uh, to 136, uh, I'll be a little bit happier. All right, uh, release, tap the brakes, okay, gas it up, okay, oh, this is looking a little bit better, there, okay, that was 140 there, okay, uh, oh, okay, all right, uh, let's use the brakes, uh, brakes seem to be working a little bit better this time, oh, no, we're speeding, we're going too fast here, folks, wait, okay, hold on, let's check in on the driver, okay, besides the fact he's drowning, Probably similar leg injuries. Looks like he bounced forward. He actually moved a little bit more there, but I would say that's a lot closer to what we had with the other limo. The other limo looks a little more dramatic because the doors fall off, but if you stick them side by side, actually fairly similar damage. Uh, like I said, it's just the whole fact that it's got doors. Uh, <laughs> those didn't quite fall off. Okay, so we're back with the Chevy Caprice. So we're gonna do a battle of the Oldsmobile versus the Chevy. We're gonna be using the demo derby versions. So in theory, these should be sturdy. <laughs> I mean, that's a good looking roll cage. I, I think this one will make it. Uh, we're gonna go full speed. We'll kind of get a, uh, a speed test here to see how fast we need to go. Uh, try to keep them fairly even. Okay, here we go. Stig is in and we are off. Oh, uh, you know what? I feel pretty confident with this one. That's a nice cage in there. This is sturdy. Uh, it's meant to be crashed, okay? We're gonna release at 153. Uh, oh dear. Land it, land it. Oh my goodness, that held up so well! Uh, the driver might have flown off. Oh. You know, I kind of held it wide open there and killed the driver, but for landing, that was a 10 out of 10 there. Uh, I think if I was able to actually slam the brakes, I think we would have made it. Now the driver is, uh, he's flown through the, uh, the front. All right, we're ready to go. The Stig is loaded up, and let's take off. I don't know why the camera's so far back on this one. Uh, this one looks cool. So right around 150 is where we want to be. This thing might not make it. Hold on. Oh, it's gonna be pretty close. Okay, that was pretty close. Are we gonna get a good landing? Oh yes, that's another 10 of 10. So the derby cars are. Oh, oh brakes, 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 brakes. Okay, the brakes. Not the best. Uh, the body itself's in great shape. The back's decent shape. Got a pretty good ding in the front where it landed. But man, those have both got to be 10 of 10s, right? Okay, so it seems like both of these cars have really cool off-road versions of them. Uh, you would think with the big beefy suspension and tires, this might hold up pretty good on a jump. Doesn't have a roll cage in it, though, so that might be the one thing that holds it back. Uh, let's stick our driver in there. Uh, the poor Stig has been tortured this episode, but it's okay. It is all in the name of science. So let's go ahead and release. Oh, yeah, this is going to be beautiful. 
getting decent speed here. Uh, I'd be curious as to what we can get off the, the ramp. Looks like it's going to be 155. Yeah, 157. Okay, it's a nice release. Man, these cars, they handle the air really nice. And Oh, uh, okay. All right, brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, it's going to barrel roll, but the water caught it. I'm going to give that a solid seven. Uh, the driver's head definitely did bang into the steering wheel. I saw that. But the body held up really well. Why is this car so good? Is it just because they don't make them like they used to with the old vehicles? Is that what makes these things so sturdy? All right, here we go. We got the other ones off-road version. Come on. I don't know if it's going to get the speed here. Uh, it's going to be close. Oh, uh, we're just going to... Uh, we're a little under on this one. What's the... Oh, it's rotating a lot. Oh, no. Okay. Brakes. Get the brakes. I think very similar. Uh, driver definitely hit the steering wheel. Uh, the brakes were a little bit better. Oh, he's he still got a hand on the wheel. Uh, might have a broken wrist and a broken face, but I mean, that's what the helmet's for, right? Yeah, overall, these cars handle this jump quite well. I guess it's just the way they are, the how they're old they are, but I mean, what do you guys think? Did you think the Caprice was better, or did you like the Oldsmobile more? 